Why is Pareba tourmaline so expensive? It was found by a friend of mine, a Brazilian man named Heitor Barbosa. He discovered it in the state of Pariba, Brazil. This is where the name comes from. It's interesting because when he first discovered it, this unique color is so rare, no one believed that this stone was a natural gemstone or a natural color. He had very difficulty selling the rough, even for $100 a carat. And the price quickly went up to several thousand dollars a carat, from several hundred a carat, to tens of thousands of dollars per carat by the mid 1990s which now cut stones can go for over $200,000 a carat in the market. Now the Brazilian material, always rare, even in the beginning. It became very difficult to find by the mid 1990s. Today, most of the stones that are over one carat come back in from the secondary market. Very, very little production in Brazil of sizes over one carat. Guild has visited really the only active Pariba tourmaline mine in Brazil. Most of what they produce is what we call melee sizes under 20 points, which are extremely in high demand and a high price point also. In this century, a new source was found in Mozambique, and it was agreed that these Mozambique African Pariba tourmalines could be called Pariba tourmaline, the trade name, but generally did not reach the finest quality colors of the Brazilian. So the Brazilian material kept going up in price, and it helped to bring the Mozambique material up in price also. But in the last several years, the production from Mozambique has dropped dramatically and it is extremely difficult to find stones that are large in size, over a few carats, and a high clarity. Most of the Pariba tourmaline from Mozambique today is not top color. It has eye visible inclusions that are noticeable and very rare to get it over a three to five carat size range. So top quality Mozambique Pariba tourmaline has gone up in price, value, and rarity. That is a testament to the high degree of demand versus the amount of supply for Pariba tourmaline. But what makes this stone so special, this tourmaline? The color is almost like nothing ever seen in a gemstone or in nature. It's what we call a neon color. It's this basically blue, greenish blue to green color. It's a vivid color without becoming dark, without becoming a deep or having a high depth of color. It's this vivid neon color, like when you look at a neon electric blue light. In fact, sometimes the blue stones are called electric blue. What affects the value? In general, the more pure blue the hue is, the higher the value. Greenish blue stones are also extremely high valuable. Depending on the saturation, how vivid that color is, they can reach prices similar to the pure blues. Once you get a dominant green color, still a highly desirable and thought after and valuable stone, but that hue will be less money for the same vivid saturation, the same clarity and size and cut quality as the slightly greenish blue or more pure blue hues. You're looking for a vivid saturation, a strong color. The stronger that color, the more valuable that Pariba tourmaline. And when you get a Pariba tourmaline, because it's so valuable in per carat price, look for the cutting quality. How do you decide that cutting quality? which loses more weight from the rough to give you all of that beautiful color, that brightness back to your eye. If you see a vibrant brilliance grade for the cut quality, that's extremely valuable because that means the clarity is high enough and the cut quality is high enough. That's what you're looking for, for a Pariba Terminal.